So in this video, I want to cover how to use loop and recur in Clojure. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a new project. I'm going to use line new and I'm going to call this one. Let's call it loop, loop, loop. Okay, three loops. Cool. Then I'm going to CD into loop, loop, loop and I'm going to open it in VS Code. Once I've opened up my project, it's going to go straight to the source core.closure file and I'm going to start this REPL. So I'm going to use Culver and I'm going to start a project REPL using line again. Cool. And that should work. We should be able to just run foo here. I'm going to run this foo function with hey and hey hello world cool so now i'm just going to get rid of all of that because we don't need it okay cool so let's start off by having a function that we'd need to repeat so i'm going to make a function here called connect to db and we're going to pretend that we have the worst db in the world where connections to it are like beyond random so define connect db and this won't take any arguments and i'm going to use a let binding here and I'm gonna say, make a variable called connected. And basically we're gonna check if randomly, if this int, let's say five is greater than two, then we're connected. And if we are connected, we'll just say, if connected, we'll return connected. Otherwise we'll retry connect. So I'm just gonna run this function again. And then if we, I'm just gonna put this in a comment so it doesn't run every time I save. If we run connect db here, save this file, and if we run this, cool, we get connected. I actually just wanna also put a print line here so we can see how often this function runs. Print line, trying to connect, save this. And if we run, if we run this, cool, tries once, tries a few times, tries a few times. Awesome, okay, but what happens if we have a situation, this is not inclusive by the way, at least I don't think it is. So you would say greater than or equal to four. What happens now if we're in a situation where it's much harder to connect to the database? So like now if you run this, yeah. Okay, it's gonna run a lot more times. Okay, great. So now what I wanna try and do is I wanna try and make a connect DB call which takes in a maximum amount of tries. So if we pass a 10, it will only try 10 times and if it fails, it fails. So one way to do that is if we just copy this function here and then I'm gonna comment this one out here. What we'd like to have is one that has max tries and then current tries, but I don't wanna to have to go here and pass in 10 and say current tries zero and then every time we recur this, increase our current tries. What I'd rather do is overload our connect DB function. And what that means is that our connectDB function will be able to take in um, different amounts of arguments. So for the first one, it must take in just max tries. And then essentially what I would like to do is I'd like to call connectDB with max tries. And then we're gonna pass through the current amount of tries, which in this case would be zero as the initial value. And then every time we iterate over this function, we'll increase the tries. So I want to then overload it again with another function that will take max tries as well as current tries. So essentially when we call this function here with 10, it's going to enter into this function. Then it's going to call itself with 10 and with zero. And then I'm just going to move this into this body here and I am going to then say here, I'm going to say connection failed. So I'll make another variable called connection failed. And we're basically going to say it's going to fail if the current tries are greater than the max tries. Along with that, what I want to do is I want to switch out this if statement for a cond function. So cond basically takes um, key pair values of functions. So if one of the conditions returns true, then where it returns to is what gets returned. So for example, if connection failed here, we'll return a string called connection failed. And if we pass through another, another condition, let's say connected, we'll return connected. 
And we need a default condition here, which will basically just retry the function. So if both of those fail, then we just want to try again. So I'm going to say else here, and this will run connect DB. And we're going to pass through max tries again, but we're also now going to pass through our current tries plus one. So current tries plus one, and then we can get rid of this, save this, and we have an issue here. We just need more brackets. Awesome. Okay, so now what's going to happen is we'll have a max try of 10. So let's make this like really hard to connect to the DB. Um, I think that's pretty much impossible. <laughs> Save this. Okay, cool. So now we're always failing on the connection here. It tries to connect and it'll fail. If you run that again, the same thing. Connection failed. Cool. Let's just clear this. So now what's happening is that every time we call ConnectDB, we're actually building data on top of our um, current stack. So Clojure has a smart way of dealing with that, and that's by using Recur. So if instead we pass ConnectDB, we pass Recur, what will happen is Clojure will know, okay, rerun this function to ConnectDB, and don't just keep on building, like, and clear out the data that we're not needing anymore. So it's a, just a more efficient way of recurring a function. So now if we run this, we'll get the same result, but we know we're doing it in a more efficient way. There's also a better way to write this ConnectDB using the loop function. So I'm just gonna copy this again, comment this out, and let's rewrite this using a loop rather than overloading the function. So to use a loop function, what we can do is we can now go back to the old way. We'll pass through maximum tries, and we don't need this anymore and we don't need this anymore. Instead, what we can do is we can call loop here and we can pass through maximum tries or max tries. And we're gonna default this value to what we've passed in, which is max tries. So max tries, yeah, we kind of think of it like a left binding is gonna to equal to 10, the value we passed in. And what we need then is also our current tries, current tries, and we're gonna default this value to zero. And then what we can do is we can put this all in our loop function and get rid of this bracket. Cool, and I think we'll have the same result, cool. So now we always get in connection fail, but let's try and make it a little bit more fair. Um, let's actually say greater than equal to four. So now we actually have some chance of this thing working. Connected, yeah, connected. Cool, and that's basically how you can use recur and loop in Clojure. Um, generally, if you have a raise or something like that, you don't wanna use loop and recur. You'd rather use one of the other approaches like map or reduce or something like that. But in some cases, you do need this and this is how you do it. Cool guys, have a good one, cheers.